to worry about a damn thing. If I was you and I could partner up, shit, I bet uh, you want to cook crystal meth? Because we get the shoes out with him. And I hate talking about my stupid pain. But girl, I'm giving you the whole thing. I can put like 25 on your finger, 5 for your shade. So you can see these other niggas, they won't call you again. Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react to Breaking Bad Season 1 Episode 4. Now guys, in the last episode, bro, I'm sorry. It's almost funny. Jesse and Walter managed to get into so much trouble in so little time, bro. It's laughable. I cannot believe how much trouble they got. Bro, my man killed the man in self-defense. Then in the last episode, he killed his cousin because, yeah, my man was being disingenuous. He was planning retribution if Walt left him go so he kind of had to do it right he was a loose end he would have right he 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 wouldn't have turned him in but his family would definitely be in danger because my man a gangster right and uh yeah that little uh, emotional connection they were having by him knowing his dad who owns a business that he shopped in way back when right and in the end he needed to strangle that kid in such a brutal way right but uh, yeah, at the very end of the last episode, his wife, who's does like she doesn't look that supportive, bro. But let's be honest, she doesn't even know about the cancer or, or nothing. But man, in, my man having a midlife crisis and nobody knows about it. <laughs> and he teamed up with this dumbass Jesse kid, bro. I listen. This is my theory. I mean theory. This is my prediction. This kid's gonna die in the upcoming two episodes, bro. There's no way in hell this kid survives. He's too damn dumb. <laughs> my man, my man, dumb for life. But regardless, uh, yeah, at the very ending of the last episode, my man walked in on his wife crying. And yeah, I think she wants a divorce because, like, yeah, he's been acting insane. Like, coming back home at 3 a.m., hitting it from the back, not, not being himself at all. We also saw a flashback of his memories with some chick, like, discussing chemistry or some shit, right? So my man was smart. He was a player back in the day. But now, he's 50 years old. He has cancer and it's terminal. And he hasn't told his wife. And now his wife who found out about this Jesse dude, sure, she doesn't know that he's melting people in, in Jesse's house, but she is thinking that he's cheating or whatever, and I think she wants a divorce. So the only way this man can get out of this, in my humble opinion, is if he mentions the cancer. Then he's gonna get sympathy, and she's gonna forget about all this mess, so... I don't know what's about to happen, but that's my theory. That being said, I ain't gonna this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, ring the bell for notifications, guys, follow me on Instagram, join my Discord server, and have a Patreon page raw. But uh, do, man, let's jump right into this reaction. Let's go. Let's see. Operation Icebreaker. Icebreaker. Okay. How are we liking that? We never used that before, did we? Isn't that the name of a breath mint? What? Icebreakers, <laughs> right? Breath mint? AKA Crazy Eight. Way smarter than your average cheese eater. I turned him out when he was street level, but this dude's like the Jeffersons, moving on up. Every small time dealer he'd throw at us, he'd end up snaking all their customers. Now it turns out that he's missing, presumed dead. Found his car uh, out in the boonies. Emilio Koyama. Yo, so he was a snitch, and he was the one that ratted out his own cousin, bro. My man was playing both sides. That's crazy. And yeah, I forgot that they staked out that desert and found a gas mask and some remains, their car, right? So, yeah, they found pot as well. So now, these guys that Walter and Jesse melted, bro, they're on the DEA's radar. And this guy's, he's Walter's brother-in-law ma bro this this getting so complicated you think the cousin found out and took revenge could be it turns out he's missing too turns out we find two grams of meth in it we take it to the lab they come back they tell us it is the purest they've ever seen 99.1 percent 99.1 percent bro that's gonna kill you bro that's so pure yeah that's walter's meth yeah that that's what they found not i thought it was pot yeah 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 damn so they think there's another dealer out there that these guys were working with potentially yeah oh now they're on they're on the radar there i mean our chemist is blown away he said he couldn't do the same thing better worse yet it didn't come out of some super lab in mexico we're thinking this was cooked right here in the land of enchantment we got new players in town yo now we don't know who they are where they come from but they possess an extremely high skill set I me mean, personally <laughs> Thinking Albuquerque just might have a new kingpin. Bro, look at him! This is our kingpin? 
Bro, my man's gonna be dead in a matter of weeks. He ain't no kingpin. And he looks hilarious. I love it, bro. Hey, I want a beer. Yeah. I want Shania Twain to give me a tuggy. <sighs> Guess what? I ain't having any either. Uh, how about some more soda, huh? Bro, I'm sorry. I love this guy, Hank. He might he might seem like he has a screw loose, but man, my man doesn't have a filter, bro. Did you see what what bro? He said some mad shiz in a matter of seconds. My man does my man said this pull poop in a hat. And now he said somebody want he wants somebody to give him a man. Yeah, sure. Honey, I love it. Mm, no, well, thank you. Okay. Put it right back. Mm. Okay. Thank you. To get a girl. All right? You just got to have Confidence. Confidence and uh, and persistence. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Casanova. That's a that's a casual uncle talk, right? I love it. But yeah, uh the wife is giving uh Walter some looks, uh and considering how the last episode ended, how did we get here? I thought she was gonna fall for divorce or some shit like because she was crying and, and she was like, We need to talk. And then he said, yeah, we do need to talk. Like, he, he needed to tell her something. So did he tell her about the cancer so everything's calm now? Or what happened? I chased your Aunt Marie here all over creation. I mean, I kept bugging her for a date. She kept saying no. Well, I asked you like 50 times. Yeah, it was before they tightened the stalking laws. <laughs> it got to be so that I would only go in when I knew she was working. When it was slow, she would lean against the counter doing her crossword puzzles. Right, got he's so a stalker. Every day at lunch, we would both be doing the New York Times crossword puzzle 10 feet from each other. Bro, I'm sorry. These are stalker wives. My man did the whole math equation just to get to talk to her one day, bro. My man did prep time. My man took like a, a two months off work to do all this prep in order to start a conversation. And, uh... <laughs> Eventually, I caught her looking over at me. So, I began saying, excuse me, um, got us talking, and uh, boy, I tell you, I was, I was terrible at those puzzles. <laughs> well, what do you want to bet that's his perspective? Her perspective was, should I call the cops? <laughs> I don't think that I finished even one of them. Sky. Mom, uh, are you all right? Oh, they're getting a divorce, aren't they? Shh, honey, it's okay. What's the matter? Yo. <laughs> what is it? What? Ask him. Okay, they were either getting a divorce or he told her about cancer and this reminiscing part of the story got her in her feels because he's going to die. Answer. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, damn. Is this cancer? This how he told his kid? Uh, they did not expect that. For God's sakes, Walden, we're just sitting out there having a cookout like nothing's going on. He made me promise not to tell anybody. <laughs> Christ, these last 48 hours. <laughs> And it's the weekend, so I couldn't even get his doctor on the phone. Okay, let's make it all about you. Like, my girl, I understand. At least I get it. He's the love of her life. She found out, he, like, she was going to lose him. He told her not to tell anybody. She broke that pretty much right away, telling these guys. But I guess she needs somebody to talk to, right? She has a kid on the way and all that, bro. It's a lot to process, so I can't really blame her for that. But, bro, she's like... <laughs> Buddy, why? I mean... Why wouldn't you want to tell anybody? Walt, don't you see? Everybody just wants to help you. Yeah, and he doesn't want that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, a second opinion is common, especially in these sort of scenarios where it's terminal, right? So you want a second opinion, but also... I have a lot of doctor friends, so I kind of know some stuff about this stuff, right? Uh, but also, yeah, uh, I understand Walt's behavior because, yeah, people tend to not even want to think about that shit, right? Because, yeah, and some people don't even want to go uh, to radiation because it's just going to prolong his life for a few years and it, he's going to go through excruciating, like, 
conditions in order to do so. So some people just give up and, and live out the rest of their days, like doing things they always wanted to do. So I think Walter's that type. That's why he didn't want to tell anybody at first. So, right. And, and, and like he didn't even want to tell his wife. The only reason he did because she wanted to leave him because he was acting sus. So I'm going to go check on Walt Jr. I am. Um, I don't know what to see. If I can talk Amanda, I don't know, joining us. I really didn't mean for him to find out that way. Yeah, that was rough. Hey, yo, what happened to your hallway, man? Uh, did you like the ceiling fall down? Or? Oh, yeah. Uh, nah, man, I think the house is just settling. You know, it's been caving in left and right. Hit me in the eye. It's bananas. Yo, my pops could fix you up. He's like a contractor or something. Oh, yeah? Yeah, right on. I should um, grab that number. Okay, these guys do not look like good company at all. I'm sorry. I know they say don't judge a book by its covers, but brah, these guys are junkies. <laughs> yeah, Jesse, you still cook a little crystal? Here we go. Uh, maybe got some crystal, man? Because I could seriously go for a bowl right now, you know what I'm saying? Take the edge off. Hell yeah, Sunday night bowl, yo. I got plenty of pot. Yeah, I think I'll bounce, man. Yo. Yeah, sounds about right. Hey, yo, yo. Hey, Holmes. I'm joking. Okay, I'm totally joking with you. You kidding? Sit down. Yo, he actually has Walter's meth? Damn. Walter let him... Uh, listen, bro. They guilt-tripped him, and now he's gonna share it with them. They're gonna love it, and yeah, uh, this... This is not good, because Jess is trying to be low-key after what they did, right? Bro, there's a hole in his ceiling. Like, that's sus as hell. And my man brought friends over. I'm sorry, this Jesse kid is not, like, he's not well. <laughs> my man is dumb. He's way too dumb. I mean, I guess so are these Best guys. Dante ever. Grab that pipe. Yo, I think my man, okay, my man has issues, bro. You should go outside if you're not comfortable being in the house. <sighs> yeah, he needs a few stitches. I mean, not even just in New Mexico, but one of the top 10 in the entire nation. His name is um, Dr. Del Cavoli, and we see him on Friday. <sighs> ah. I mean, Marie really came through for us. She had her boss call and... Yeah, and this is the problem with uh, America when it comes to insurance and healthcare. But uh, yeah, if you don't have good insurance and healthcare, well, that's messed up, right? Because this is gonna be expensive as hell. If if they're not covered, she just mentioned a credit card. Yeah, Walter's definitely gonna have an incentive to go back to cooking and earning some quick cash, considering that not only is he not gonna be able to leave anything to his family when he's gone. He's gonna leave them with a whole lot of debt, considering that she's looking for the best oncologists out there, and they're expensive. Okay. This is good. I don't even want us thinking about money. Money is not the issue here. It's not. It is. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's not. Okay. Okay. And that's what's messed up with the world. Because money is more valuable than life itself, bro. Let's be honest. Yeah, sure. I understand her sentiment. Like, we should be worrying about money in times like these. But it's going to be an issue along the way. Because it's not It's not cheap. Okay. It's not cheap. I'll the treatment. The yeah. Yeah. I'll cook some meth. From my pension. You're acting all, you're, you're all, why are you acting so weird? Son. You're, you're acting like nothing is going on. Okay, so these are very uh, hard 
Mm, these, these are very hard scenarios to have in your family because I don't know how old this kid is. He's in high school, right? He's not mature enough to handle all of this. But at the same time, right? Come on, bro. Your, your dad is dying. Can you imagine what he's going through? And yeah, Walt is like, he didn't want to tell anybody because of these sort of scenarios. He doesn't want to put anybody in, right? Man, come on, right? And, and the wife also, like, they're not handling this well. And Walter now needs to comfort them and he needs the comforting, right? It's messed up. It's really messed up. But it's realistic. I mean, I would probably act like this too, like, what, am I gonna cry? Like, it, it is what it is, I mean... Bro, why are you panicking? <laughs> They're not here for you, why is he panicking? I mean, okay, he's definitely not a criminal, because he knows what he did. My man hid the cash, bro. You can explain that cash. That's a part of my pension, that's my savings. Uh, Fluff off, right? And, and my man thought they were here for him, bro. You're not the kingpin, bro. <laughs> Calm down. They did catch you, but I guess you have two bodies on your conscience. Yeah, you're going to be a bit like both him and Jesse. They're definitely not psychos. They're ordinary individuals that so happened to get in trouble and did all of this. And now they're coping with it. Like, this ain't easy. This is actually crazy. Yeah. <laughs> He's relieved. Oh. Hey! 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 Oh, come on! Hey! Oh. Yeah, am, I, am I gonna have to come down there and whoop your ass? What a douchebag! I'm sorry, that plate said Ken wins. Please don't, please don't tell me that man's name is Ken. That is so obnoxious, bro. Come on. And let me tell you something else. I'm not doing this for charity, right? I'm hands down the best he's got in that office. He knows it. I know it. I expect to be paid to a level commensurate with. I don't know. I, I said, Dave, do you think 40 grand is a proper bonus? That's less than 10% of what I booked for you guys this quarter. Come on. Stacy's a cow. Damn. We're talking major barnyard boo hog. Roll her in flour and look for the wet spot before you hit that man. You know what I'm saying? That kind of. Yo, my man just roasted the shiz out of some girl, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, the show is really working overtime to make this guy look like a scumbag. Walter's gonna do something, right? Punch him in the face or something. Thing does not wash off. Sir? <laughs> right. Sir. Yo, look at oh, that. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. That stare. Hi, what can I do for you? Today? Which dude? The dude that looks like a lizard? Hi, uh, um, any limps like some I, leopard? Sorry, like, I... I would like a cashier's check in the full amount made out to oncology partners of New Mexico, please. Right on. My leg. Well, what the hell happened? I have so many questions now. This family looks so sweet and gentle. Did you see this little kid, bro? He's an distinguished gentleman, bro, my man. Smart as hell. And these are his mom and dad. That's his probably that's probably his brother or some shit. So why is he living with them? And also, how did he turn out like this if he has such a family, bro? What is happening? What is happening? That's crazy. Hey, hey. Good evening. Well, sleep well? Time's, uh, time's dinner. In about an hour. That's nice parents. We're not doing this again. Adam. No. We said we'd lay down the law. We lay down the law. You just have to be consistent about it. Okay, so did they disown him or some shiz, bro? Because they seem religious and the fact that he's right on drugs... She suggested needles. As, as far as I notice, he only smokes it. He doesn't shoot it up. But regardless, yeah, they're religious. It doesn't coincide with their way of life. And I think they might have disowned him. Because the other kid is very polite and well behaved. Not all learning comes out of books. 
Street Smarts. <laughs> look at you. Yeah, look at him. We should we should hang out more often. You know, just uh, just kick back and chill. Hell no. Something tells me you're gonna corrupt your little brother, bro. <laughs> Hell no. You're not a good influence at all. But this this young man. What an extinguished gentleman, bro. Look at him doing his homework and all that. They did a swell job on this kid. What happened with Jesse? What happened with Jesse? I mean, if you ever, like, I don't know, need advice. Because, yo, I mean, I've been through it all. I mean, for real. We're, uh, we're good. Jay? Yeah, fine, Mom. Uh, yo. It's good. It's, it's great. Oh, she's gonna... Oh, my God, the pettiness. She left the door open. She, they don't trust him being alone with his brother, bro. Like, he's a bad influence. He can corrupt them. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's good parenting, but on the other hand, it's very... Yo, I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess Jesse probably puts them through hell, considering he's a drug addict and a freaking, right, drug dealer. So I can't blame them. the hell you see this what am i some criminal or something practically all they ever talk about oh and that's actually a fact oh that hit the nail on the head right because when you're an distinguished gentleman like this kid is right you get all the great grades you you get all the a's you get all the accomplishments you get all the rewards all the medals all the trophies but if there's a right uh, if there's a kid a sibling who's not doing so well that any little achievement is like oh my god he actually did this right and you who is always at the top you get brushed aside like oh that that's normal for him right you don't even get a high five when you get an a because that's expected so this kid feels like yeah i might like i might be amazing for my age but they still just talk about you because they're probably worried sick if he's gonna die or, or, or overdose or right they're probably constantly mentioning him because he's also their child and the kid the other kid sees it as yo you're getting all the attention even though um the one they should be, right? So, yo, that's kind of... Mm, that's... You turn left and you lose yourself completely. Uh, he's gonna go down the memory lane. I love doing this too when I visit my folks. You up for making some fat stacks? Because they'll buy everything you got. Hmm. Oh, you can't be serious. What the hell are you doing here? Yo, I waited till the ball buster left. And ball buster, I love it. <laughs> the Karen wife. Yeah, looks like they smoked everything he got left from that last batch. He needs water to cook again, right? And now he came here to ask him to cook. That's crazy. I think Walter's gonna say yes because he knows he needs the money, so. No offense. <laughs> Who sent you, huh? Huh? Hey. We're on a wire? Jeez, huh? you're setting me up? Homo. A wire? Homo. You want a wire? <laughs> I got a wire. Speak into the mic, bitch. Yo! With you. <laughs> yeah, you know, um. You dissolved call, people uh, together. You have a bond. The brief. The brief. Maybe we could. Thought we could debrief. <laughs> I thought we could biodegrade some more people, bro. Like what 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 are you doing here? Yeah, he needs he needs more crystal meth, bro. But this crazy, yeah, they cooked, bro. They completely dissolved human beings. And now my man wants to touch base. I mean, I get it. I get it. Like he can't talk about this to anybody except Walter. And th that was traumatic, so they both need this. Debrief? <laughs> wow, that's that's what you think we need debrief? Yeah, I mean, after what happened, it just seems like the thing to do. Yeah. Get the hell off my property. Ooh, what he refused. And don't come back. Now. All right. All right, you know what? Four grand. Your share 
I'm selling that batch. Oh my god, he... Okay, so he did have something left. He already sold it to those guys, but he saw that it was in demand, so he came here to, like, possibly get it to return, to sell some more. That's crazy. He's giving him his cut. Okay, that's gonna motivate him. He needs the money. That's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey, I didn't smoke at all. Huh. Yo, why'd you do that? Um, what, what about the side effects? Well, they can be mild to practically non-existent, or they can be pretty darn awful. It varies from patient to patient. Typically, there's hair loss, which begins a couple of weeks after the start of chemotherapy. They've been through it with him. Enough, Jesse. Enough. They're out We're of patience. We're not going to have this in our house. We need you to leave. Thanks for not telling on me. What do you mean by that? Uh, you think I could have it back? <laughs> what? That was his? Yo, that's a good big brother. He could have handled that better. I'm glad he didn't give it back, but... So he was a young boy. Yeah, that's messed up, considering that, like, mm, see, that's human psyche. The little kid, like, the little brother feels that he's the topic of the house because he's obviously been through some shares with his parents, right? And they're constantly worrying about him being out there doing God knows what, right? They're probably waiting for the news of his death any day now because of overdose or something, right? And because the little brother feels that way, he thinks that, he can get some spotlight if he looks up to the, the older brother who's obviously... Mm, come on, man. That's... You know, this is actually very hopeful. I, I, I could always go back to work. Okay. Well, there's always a way. All right. Skylar, say that there is a way. And we spend all that money and... Yeah, he still doesn't make it. It's not 90 grand, it's... You're not buying... You're buying a chance to survive. If you just give up... You're gonna die for sure. No way. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm not worried. I got the best freaking attorney. Yeah, I would not want to be on the, the other side of this one. You've got this little team of ninjas, too, that go out and do forward operations. you got crap on you. Uh, he's gonna do something to his car. Yo! Okay, what just happened? Cause um, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there are cameras on every gas station out there and my man just committed arson, blew up a car and possibly endangered a lot of lives by doing it in a gas station that can explode because of the fire and kill who knows how many people that can be considered a terroristic attack. What, what the hell? Bruh, I know you have some issues, but for that, you're gonna go to jail for life and you don't have that much time left what the hell was that that just in a movie bro if he doesn't go to jail for that uh, bro <laughs> right like that's crazy like they have cameras and even if they don't have cameras their fingerprints on that thing when the fire department comes here and, and right they're gonna look what started like the fire i mean i guess the fingerprints are gonna be burned off but still bro cameras witnesses somebody saw it that that's that that was that was that was that was crazy. That that was bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're not just gonna pass that. I mean that was badass. But there's no way he's getting out of this, bro. There's no way he's gonna get away with it. I mean I guess he did melt two people, but still. <laughs> that's, yo. Okay. Very interesting. Listen, this episode wasn't all that much action, but it was realistic. The way he told his family, the way the family reacted, the way. 
he reacted the way he acted throughout this episode like somebody who doesn't want to put his family in debt who doesn't want this weighing over his family somebody right it was really realistic i really yo I, i'm gonna be honest i don't like the wife the wife is like she seems like a bitch <laughs> i'm sorry she seems like a karen but at the same time they're very good actors i like the cast the kid the kid is the MVP, in the end, he was right, like, then why don't you just drop and die already, right? Because you're giving up, man, in front of your family. I understand it's a lot of money, it is a lot of money, but you're potentially paying for a chance to live. Like, because there's no complete treatment, like, you can, right? So, I don't know, I don't know, but there is a chance. So, yeah, you're giving not just yourself, your whole family a chance. But I see Walter's point of view as well, like, if, if, if he does all this, imagine he still dies. And now his family is not just out of a husband who's working for all of them, they don't have a, a steady paycheck, the wife is pregnant, they're gonna have a newborn, another child, without a husband, and all that debt. So I understand his point of view as well, my man, thinking about others, and he's willing to sacrifice himself for his family, which is like, he's a real man, but I'm sorry, you can't really fault him for that, right? So, yeah, we're all, the, the, this is crazy. This, this show is definitely crazy. But yeah, so he decided to tell his family and he turned Je Jesse down, right? Also, Jesse seeing his family now, he came off as a total dumbass, but now I actually think he has potential, right? Because he's a drug addict, obviously, and, and he's, you know, but when he's clean, he's not that dumb, right? He's just a bit of a klutz. So I think he has potential, so he might not die out right like i said at the beginning of this episode but yeah i, I actually like the cast I, I love the plot and and yeah this show slaps so far not even gonna lie that being said i ain't gonna on this that much i really enjoyed this episode hope you enjoyed the reaction and i'll see you in the next one stay safe love you enjoy and bye